what's important to you and what kind of rules have you been following and where did they come from? Because some rules are awesome and some rules are holding you back. I always tell people if you look throughout your whole entire life, and I don't care how old you are or how young you are, there's things you used to believe that you no longer believe. I love this phrase. When I heard this phrase, I went, wow. You know, if you can believe in Santa Claus for about seven or eight years, you know, can't you believe in yourself for about 10, 15 minutes? <laughs> now, for those of you that watch this and you're too young and you still believe in Santa, I'm sorry, all right? But anyway, my whole point very simply is this, is not only limiting beliefs, but what kind of rules do you follow? What kind of rules were put up in your life that we consistently keep following? It's another story I'd love to tell you. It's a story about four women that are at a Thanksgiving dinner, right? And it's four generations. So you're not only talking about great grandma, grandma, mom, and their daughter, right? And they're in the kitchen and they're cooking the ham and the mom actually takes the ham out. Before she puts it in the oven, she cuts the ends off. And the little girl goes, mom, why do you do that? And she said, well, because grandma taught me how to do it. And grandma looked and said, yeah, I do that too. Why? I don't know why. Why don't you go talk to great grandma? She's in the living room relaxing watching football. <laughs> so you little girl runs in there, grandma, grandma, great grandma, why do you cut the ends off the ham? And she said, well, the honey, the reason I did that is because our oven was so small and the ham wouldn't go in it. How many things are you doing right now, every single day, like clockwork, like you're a flipping robot? Because you never took the time to find out where the hell did I learn this? Why do I keep doing this? Why do I believe it? Why is it a rule? You need to ask yourself. In 28 years of mentoring and coaching people and helping people be massively successful, I've run into people that thought that school and education was the stupidest thing you could do for success. All my uncles when I grew up were entrepreneurs. There were carpenters, there were you know, plumbers, there were electricians, there were contractors, they were construction workers. They started making money when they were freshmen in high school. Oil field. You know, so why go to school and get your high school diploma if I'm already making 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 thousand dollars a year without a high school diploma? You see what I mean? You grow up around cultures like that, you don't look at education as being a big deal. And I grew up around people where it's like if they're if they didn't go to college, it was like they were shunned by their higher, whole entire family. <laughs> you know, we hear this all the time about kids that go to college and they get degrees and the reason that they got degrees is because their great great grandfather actually owns, you know, one of the campuses on the university. What's important to you? What's important to you and what kind of rules have you been following and where did they come from? Because some rules are awesome and some rules are holding you back. Some of the rules that you have that you believe in are not really true. They're made up. They're all right in here. And if you've ever heard this phrase, you need to live by it from this point on. Rules are made to be broken. The people that have broke the most rules are the happiest and the most wealthiest people and the biggest difference makers on this entire planet. When someone told them something couldn't be done, that was the very reason why they did it. When people said, you're not smart enough, you're, you're not good looking enough, you know what I mean? Now, guess what? The geeks of the world, geeks from the dark, war, dark forest, are now the heroes of this world. When you look at people like Mark Zuckerberg and you look at the guys that started Google or Yahoo or the people that start Snapchat, you know what I mean? To think that we're living in a world right now where someone forgot to tell these guys that they not only need to finish college, which a lot of them didn't, but you can't become a billionaire in three years. Three years? You can't be worth $30 billion before the age of 40. See, these guys didn't get the memo. <laughs> someone forgot they they went against the rules you look at Elon Musk you know someone told him that you know listen petroleum conspiracy theory oil 
never, never is an electric car going to be one of the most sought after cars on the planet. Guess what it is. How about coming up with the mentality of breaking this rule? You know what? I'm thinking about building a rocket company and I'm going to be the guy that the government has to hire to get the stuff to the space shuttle. That's a big thinker. That's a rule breaker because everybody says, well, it doesn't make a difference if you invent the rocket or not. The government's not going to use you. Someone's, Elon Musk thinks a little different. Find the Steve Jobs of the world. Find the Bill Gateses of the world. Find the people that are following and doing things in a different way, and they break rules. So the two things I want to leave you with is be inspired by people that break the rules, that change and make a difference in the entire world. Follow them. Be inspired by them. And look what they're doing. Follow what they're doing. And the other one is what rules, what rules that are BS did you make up in your own head and where did you get them? So I hope this helped you because that helped me when I first learned that. It made me question every single thing I was doing, why I thought the way I thought, why I looked at myself as not being enough, why I felt I wasn't deserving. Who told me that I wasn't a people person? No, I'm a people person and I love it. And you can too. Take care and God bless. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could please do me a huge favor and share it, even like it, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a very, very, very blessed day.